Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreate Crafts. Today I'm going to show you the easy way to make one of these a custom word search in Design Space. I promise you this is the easiest way to do it. You want to stay tuned and check this out. Okay, so I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way you can make a word search in Design Space. And I'm going to tell you, I've watched so many videos, so this is going to be the easiest way. Normally, they want you to go to the text box, write in 10 miscellaneous letters, and then 10 down, 10 over. Oh my gosh, it's such a pain in the butt. And then you got to resize, and you got to align it, you got to arrange it. Uh uh. I'm going to show you an easier way. So I'm going to bring up a different screen here. I'm in education.com. I will leave the link down below and I logged out of this to show you exactly how you're going to do it. So this is a free site and all you got to do is uh, add your uh, email address to here. So I'm going to show you starting from scratch how you do this. So it's enter ser word search content. So I don't have to worry about the title here. I'm just going to write in a few names. So I just put in a few names in here. I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see this number of letters down, number of letters across. Don't worry about that. You're going to want to click create and then it's going to come up here on the side. So you can see there's a few names in here. Let's see if I can find one really quick. So here's Danny, D-A-N-N-Y. So it automatically moves this where it should be. So it's, it's, it's the easiest way, guys. I'm promising you guys. It's so easy to do this. So I'm going to go to download worksheet. And it's going to ask me to join education.com for free. I guarantee you this, I promise you, this is not going to spam you. It's not going to do anything. I've been on this for quite a while. I'm just going to show you step by step how you're going to actually going to want to do it. So I'm going to sign up for my child and I'm going to put in an email address. And then I'm going to create account. And it's going to tell, ask us, tell us about yourself. I'm a parent. My kids are in high school, but I'm just going to put first grade since I don't have that on here. Click continue. And then we're back to this page. So we're going to go down here and we're going to do create again. Since we had to create an account, I'm going to go to download worksheet. Now this might be the tricky part for you guys. So I have a Mac computer and I'm working on Firefox. So this might be different for you than it is for me. So I saw up here, my little download arrow came up and it's showing me that this is where my download is. I'm going to click on that. Here's the first one, worksheet. PDF. I'm going to open that. So open it up on a different screen. I'm sorry, there's enough screens on here, but I'm trying to show you step by step how to do each of these. So here is the word search here. Okay, I promise this is easy, but once you get it, you're, you're going to fully understand what I'm doing. So I need to actually take a screenshot of this because this is a PDF. I cannot put it into design space as a PDF. So what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this right here. So for my Mac, I'm actually pushing shift command and four, and then that's going to give me this little arrow with the four lines on it. And I'm just going to go in and grab all of this and trying to get it to be the same height and width on each side. So there it's saved right here. I'm going to close this. I don't, well, actually, I will show you another part with this one. I'm going to close this just for a minute. I'm going to go into upload. I'm going to go into upload image and then I'm going to browse. So here it is right here. It's on my desktop. I'm going to change it to the date modified. It's 10.05. So I'm going to grab this. It's a screenshot. So I'm going to double click on that. So here it is right here. Then I'm going to go into simple. I'm going to click continue. I promise, guys, this is the easiest way to do this. Instead of going in and writing all these letters yourself and then changing them, this is the simplest way you can possibly do it. So anywhere that it is gray, I want to click it so we get the checkerboards. Then you have to go in with each one of these letters that are gray and click it. Okay, so I, whoops, I missed one. So I think I got them all now. You just want to get rid of all the gray in here. So I think I got it all. I'm going to go to apply and continue. And I'm going to grab this one here, the cut image. Now I'm going to upload this. You can change it up here if you want. We're going to change the image name to Mother's Day. So if I want to go back and use this one again with the specific names for, you know, this is for the grandma, maybe I can make one for the mom. I'm going to click upload and then I can go back and find the Mother's Day one. I did one previously. Um, just to see if this works, and it does. So I'm going to go to the one I just did, upload here, and I'm going to click Add to Canvas. 
here is the fun part guys so here it is now like I said if you want to go back to the other one uh, the other page you can go back and get the answer key so here it is here you can do the same thing you can download the answer key and then it's up in your um, downloads here so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna click on that I'm done with this now X out of it and now we can see here here's the answer uh, key on here so it's David Danny Caleb and Kyle so there it is there. So if you need an answer key, um, you can see it here. I'm just going to move it. I have two screens. I moved it out of the way so we don't have to look at it anymore. And then I can kind of see what I need or um, exactly where it is. So now I'm, I need to find brush strokes for this to put it into the name. So I'm going to go to images and I'm going to type in brush stroke. And these are just some of the ones that I already downloaded um, from design bundles. And I think, you know what, I'm going to use, I'm trying to see flat ones I'm gonna actually take this one here um, you can see it says uploaded so I actually got these from designbundles.com and I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in it or you don't have any and then it's just gonna bring them up here so you um, need to do just a few things on here you want to ungroup this and then you want to pick the ones that you want I obviously don't want round ones because I want to have a straight line so I'm gonna get rid of those then I can use these, but I'm going to change them all to the same color. So I'm going to select all four of them, go up to the color box where it has a little question mark, and I'm going to change it just to a blue color. Now I don't have to do anything else with this. There's four of them. There's four names. So now I can go ahead and find the names. I'm looking at my answer key. I'll show you really quick on the side here so I can see it. So I see Danny or David is right here. So what you're going to want to do is work with your first little swatch. So I'm going to unlock it, stretch it out a little bit, and then go over this and then move it with the little, you know, the little arrow here and go over his name and then drag it to make it a little bit bigger. And you can do it however you want. You can make it smaller, like thinner if you want. You, you, don't, you can kind of play around with it and try to get it however you want it, but you can make it different sizes here as you see. Like this, you can make it thinner if you want and kind of go over it and then just work with it to get on the name. So there it is. So there's David. And then I'm looking at my answer key again. I'll show you guys really quick. So here is Danny right here. So here's Danny right there. So I'm going to move this guy out of the way. I'm going to take the next one, do the same thing. Unlock it, kind of stretch it out a little bit. doesn't have to be the same size. You know, you can have fun with it. But we're going to move this. Whoops. So we're going to move this and go on here. And I noticed that it did just move this one. So I'm going to move this one because I moved the whole letters instead of the actual swatch itself. So there's that one over Danny. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Unlock it, kind of stretch it out, and then find the next one, which is right next to uh, Danny. So we're going to take this and just move it. And once you get the hang of this, it's really actually fun to do. You can do, like I said, you don't have to do this for Mother's Day. It can be for anything. You can do it for Father's Day. You can do it for Valentine's Day. You know, whatever you want to do. So here's the last one. I'm just going to fast forward this one so you guys don't have to follow through with this one. Okay, so there it is finished. You can change this if you want to not have it so thick. You can always just go in and kind of play with it and make it you know, a little bit thinner like this, or you can leave it the way it is depending on how you want to do it. But I would suggest leaving them all the same color because once you cut it out, you want this all to be um, cutting out on the same mat, so to speak, the same color. So, and I will show you why in a second. I'm trying to fix this again. So it goes over the letters. And then just because I made that one a little bit smaller, I think I'm actually gonna make this one a little bit smaller as well. So last thing, so this part, all your letters are all together, right? You don't have to worry about welding or attaching these and these are separate. So what you wanna do is select all four or however many you have and then go down here to the attach button. And this is where I said, if you wanna change colors, it would be a little bit difficult because you'd have to go in and move, you know, physically cut out and put these on the pieces when you're done. Now this way with having it just one color, it's that easy. So when you're gonna go to print it out, this is all you gotta do is print this out, or I'm sorry, cut this out, put it on your glass that you're going to be using, and then go ahead and cut this out too. So it's the easiest way to do this. 
So that is basically it. The only other thing you're going to want to do is just change the size um, of your words itself. So to do that, you just want to select both images. So I have the blue and the black, and you're going to want to change it to whatever size that you have. So I'm actually using a dollar store. Um, it's called out of office uh, frame. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to use that and to get the wording off of it. But so for mine, it's a seven by seven roughly. So I'm going to change it to be seven by seven. So with it selected, I'm going to go up to the unlock box and I'm going to change the width to seven and the height to seven, just like that. So it changed everything for me so I don't have to worry about it. And just to show you guys what it looks like. So if I take just the blue part, you can go to a range and move backwards. There you go. This is actually what it's going to look like when you put it on. So you're going to want to make sure you put, you know, the black color on first and then the blue color behind it. But that's what it's going to look like. So you're going to want to change it to whatever size that you are going to be using. Okay, so once you get the colors you want, once you get the way you want it to look, you can go ahead and click make it. Then it's going to sort the projects by the color. Here's the black one. Here's a blue one, and it's exactly how it's going to cut out. So I'm going to go to continue. And then I'm going to show you which um, setting I use for my vinyl. You always have to check your vinyl, what setting you're going to need on it. Like if you're using a thicker kind of vinyl, or if you're using like a holographic is a little bit thinner than regular vinyl, you always have to watch out for that. So what I always like to use is either the stencil vinyl here, um, the premium vinyl if it's a little bit thicker and then you can always change the pressure on here so depending on what kind of vinyl you're using like if I'm using Oracle 651 this is what I use and if I'm using like the um, holographic I'll go back here and I'll just do the stencil vinyl so whatever material that you are going to be using please make sure you choose the right material set on here I have a new blade in I'm going to be using my green mat so I'm going to set my colors up I'm going to cut this out uh, on the Cricut and I'm going to show you which picture frame I'm going to use this from the dollar store I'm show you what the glass looks like so here it is out of office and then I will show you one that was cleaned already. So I'll show you really quick how I clean this. So originally I was taking acetone, just nail polish, and rubbing really, really, really hard trying to get the wording off. I found an easier way. Okay, so I'm working on the back side here. And I just have, and please be very, very careful with this. I couldn't find my one with the handle on it. But this is just a knife blade that I'm going to cut into this. Before, I, like I said, I was taking acetone and rubbing on it. It took forever to get off. This, basically, you, I gotta put it down. You can get this right off. And it's not scratching um, the glass at all. It just takes a little bit of work, but it's a lot less work than it is with the acetone. But please, oh my gosh, be very careful with this. If you have to, if you have to, go to the store and buy one of these that has a handle on it. I just don't have one on hand right now, and I wanted to show you guys how I got this off. So see, basically, I'm going to show you really quick, this peels right off. It is taking a little bit longer, but it's not going to take as long as it would with the acetone. And if you do use the acetone, please be very careful with that as well, as that will, you know, take color off of stuff. And um, if you do use it on here, it will take the, um, the glue off of the edges, so your glass will actually come out. So I would highly suggest using the scraper like that. So if you can see, it is gone. There's a little bit on here yet where I can see it through the glass. So I'm going to take some alcohol. Can't find it right now. I'm going to take some alcohol and clean this really well off too, but that's how it worked. So it works really well. Okay, so I have all this weeded out now. It turned out really well. What I'm going to use is my paper cutter again, and I'm going to cut a straight line down so it makes it easier to stick it into the box itself with a straight cut line. That's where this paper cutter really, really comes in handy. So I'm just going to trim off each edge to make it nice and straight so it will go evenly into the box. So here is the transfer tape that I use. This is also called Fiskars. It comes in a huge roll. I actually just bought more, but it goes a long way. Flip the sticky side upside down, and I'm going to place this on top of there. Everybody has their own preference and how they like to do this, but that's how I like to do it. And just put it upside down. And then just take my scissors, and I'll cut off the excess for now. 
And then I'm gonna take my squeegee, which I love this squeegee. It has a plastic top on the top and then it has a protective covering down here. So when I go in to really press on here, I'm not gonna, you know, break through the transfer tape into my vinyl. I really, really love that about this. So you can really scrape on here. So then I'm gonna take my transfer and I'm just gonna flip it upside down have a different corner. I'm going to flip it upside down and then kind of work my way upside down making sure that the vinyl comes off on the transfer tape and if it doesn't just use your thumb and then just push it right back down again. This is why I like to work upside down because then I can see if anything is coming up. So we did not have a problem. So here it is. Let me grab my picture frame. So here it is. So you have to realize that there's two sizes, obviously. This is the back side, um, it has the glue stuck on the back, so you don't want that to show. So you're gonna start at the front. And you wanna make sure it's nice and clean. Like I said, I used some alcohol and cleaned it really well. And then I'm gonna take my transfer, and this is where it comes in where it's already cut down to size, so you can put it right in here, right in the middle. And make sure it's good on all sides. Looks good. Perfect. And then you just want to take your little squeegee again and not as much pressure because it is glass. But I'm just going to go on here and push it down so that my transfer, my vinyl, sticks to the glass instead of the transfer tape. There. And then you have to realize with dollar store um, items, they're not always the best. So I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of coming out a little bit, so you might want to go back and put some more glue on here when you're all finished. But then when you're done, just you want to take a little weeder and then just start on one edge. Oops. Start on an edge and then just start making your way down. Alright guys, so I am finished with this. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So the wording is on the front and then I'm going to be putting the blue swatches on the back of it so that the uh, letters stick out on the front. Um, you can see it here with the white and then if I remove it, it's kind of harder to see. So I'm wondering if I'm finished, if I should put like a white piece of cardstock in the back or not, but we're gonna see what it looks like. So like I said, the last thing I have to do is just put the swatch on and I already cut that out and I weeded it and I used the same transfer tape that I was just using and um, I put it on here. So now I just gotta line this up. I think this goes this way. So I'm just gonna hold it in the back here and show you kind of what it looks like. So I need to get David on here and then Danny. So that looks really good. I like that. All right, guys, so I'm learning and you're learning with me. So I made the mistake. I should have flipped this um, blue part, but not realizing that um, it needed to be mirrored, so to speak. So I'm actually going to cut this apart and put them on manually like I said I didn't want to. But because this is flipped backwards now, this wouldn't fit on it properly. So just make sure that if you're going to do this, make sure you mirror the image so when you do put it on there, it will fit properly. So I have to go this way with the David. And it wouldn't have fit otherwise with um, the other ones. So I'm just going to line it up here. And because the vinyl is on the back side, I'm not going over vinyl. So I can scrape this on really well. And then just peel this back. And I'm not going to peel up the vinyl because it's on the other side. So here I'll show you this one. So this one says David. And then I have to find the other ones. Danny goes straight up and down here. So I'm just going to cut these apart really quick. Again, like I said, I'm always truthful with you guys. If I make a mistake, I don't want you guys making the same mistake I do. So I'm going to tell you when I make the mistake and I did this time. So I'm going to see if this one fits for the Danny one. And the Danny one is back here. So I'm going to go over Danny. Just use my thumb maybe. And then peel it back. There we go. And then I have Caleb and Kyle. 
I hope this video tutorial is helping you guys out. I'm kind of learning as I go. I just know the way that we did the lettering on the front was so much easier than doing it other ways that I've seen people do on Design Space where they have to put all the letters in on Design Space and then you have to go in and change the letters. So I think that way, this way was a lot easier. So here it is here. We have David, Danny, Kyle, and Caleb. I think that's absolutely amazing. I think she's really going to love this for, you know, Mother's Day. She's my aunt, but I'm going to give it to her for Mother's Day. But I think this is really beautiful. You can make an extra copy, you know, give it to the mom. Or, you know, like I said, you can make this for Valentine's uh, sweetest day, you know, just because you can give it to grandmas, you know, anybody would really enjoy this. I know I would. So I'm debating whether or not I should put something behind it. So, you know, it's kind of hard to see or just leave it the way it is. So I guess that's up to you how you guys want to finish it off, but I hope this tutorial helped you out. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already for more great video tutorials. Learn with me, guys. I'm still learning the ways of some things, but I hope this way was a lot easier for you rather than going in design space and doing it the really long way. So happy crafting, everyone. Leave me some comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Tell me what I could do different. Tell me if you like this, and I would love to hear your stories. Did you guys make one of these already? So leave some comments down below. Happy crafting, everyone.